I talked in the last video about a movie called Metal Face that was originally titled Playing With Dolls. Well, as luck would have it, or as unfortunate luck might have it, some might say, Playing With Dolls Part 2, uh, Bloodlust, is on Tubi and it's free to watch, so I give it a spin, hoping to find some answers to some of the questions left from the first movie. Not really any here. You most mostly you just get the same plot, but this time it's kind of like I uh, got the cover of being a reality TV show. So the same dude that's learning him in from the first movie for the same killer from the first movie is learning in new people, and it's uh, some you know it's 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 reality shows. So there's so there's more of a cast, uh, more TNA. Uh, they do try to flesh out the actual plot a little more, so I'll give them credit for that. Because, you know, we, we fleshed out the one main character we kind of had last time with a detective guy that was just kind of there, and you didn't really see his backstory too much. This time, you've got a house, you know, with a, I guess four, is it four people? And you kind of get their backstory, at least for a couple of them you do. Enough that you kind of care what happens to them in a way. Uh, I'm not saying these are like by any means great characters or characters that you just got to have survive or you're going to feel terrible. But you at least uh, have them fleshed out a lot better. Uh, the blood's better. The blood's better this time. There's a little more gore, a little more kills. It amps up stuff from the last one. It's still not a classic. It's it's still not you know anything you're going to want to go run out and just go out of your way to buy. But it's free on Tubi and it's probably worth a watch there. I give the last one like a two and a half. This one or two uh, it was a two. This one would get a two and a half. I'm going to try to watch the other two. I know the the newest one's called Cry Havoc and I think it's got the guy that looks like Charles Bronson in it. So. That's a double whammy of independent exploitation, if you ask me. And that could be good or bad, depending on how you look at it. Uh, this, uh, the series is interesting. I, I know it seems to get a lot of hate from a lot of people. But, you know, I'm always a sucker for any kind of franchise, even if it's really independent, that that manages to uh, get more than one, you know, out, out the gate. And this one's like up to four now, I think. So this is Playing With Dolls, Bloodlust. Um, I don't know if it's on DVD in America. I don't know if it's on DVD under a different name, because these have some weird names, but it is on Tubi. The first two is Metal Face and Playing With Dolls uh, Bloodlust. A two and a two and a half in my book, but they seem to at least be improving as I stop at the first two. If if you've seen the other ones, let me know. If you know where they're at online, let me know, uh, legally, of course. I could just buy them. Which I'm going to. I'm going to try to get a hold of these. I just I, I have all the Robert movies, so why not, right? But uh, if you've seen it, let me know what you think. And if you have anything similar that's out there that you want me to check out, let me know.